What's happening? What's happening? Oh shit, niggas be clapping in this motherfucker. Oh, what's up? Say less. Welcome to uh, Addy Vibe. You know what I'm saying? We in this motherfucker. We're gonna have a good time. If you're here to have a good time, let me hear you say, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're gonna start this motherfucker up. Let's do it. Hey, okay. I see. Okay, okay. I said, shut the fuck up. I got money now. Okay, shut the fuck up. I got. Okay, okay. Look. Remember they told me that I wouldn't get it, and I went and got it. Hey, I ain't had shit but lint in my pocket, shout it. I was having withdrawals, now I'm at the bank and I'm making deposits, nigga. Shout out to 50, boy, get rich or die trying, ain't no other option, I gotta go get it. Remember my mom being broke as a joke, pay the rent with the light bill, shout it. They cut off the lights, it was dark in the house, but I knew I was bright, still shout it. Then they cut off the heat and my heart got cold, I'm talking about ice, chill, shout it. I knew I was great, even though niggas hated, I made it like Mike Will, shout it. Went from eating on no rhyming and getting it poppin'. Say shit for granted, you know how we rock it. Made it look easy, like straight out of Compton. And now I'm on go, ain't no motherfucking stopping. You see what I saw coming up from the bottom. Made me a minute, like Dennis, no rhyming. Getting this shit ain't no motherfucking problem. So get him, I got him, quit fucking around, nigga, by the blood. Hey, for all of the time we were late on the rent at the first of the month. Hey, it was PB and J every day, now we eating no conch for lunch. Hey, now I walk in the store with my mama and tell her to buy what she want. I ain't hearing that shit that you told me. Shut the fuck up. I got money now, hey, hey. My financial situation is not the same as it used to be. I got money now, hey, hey. And I gotta thank God. Okay, okay, look. I ain't had no money, my niggas was hungry, my pockets was empty like shit for late Sunday. My future was pretty, my pad was ugly. But now I'm back in my bad little buddy. We got this shit out of motherfucking muddy. Now we want the fresh, but we weren't bummy. That shit ain't no joke when your money be funny. So I had to jump in the game like your munch. To help out my mama, that shit had me frustrated, shout it. Looking back at the sack at the end of the month Like my nigga, we just made it, shout it. Not a bad bitch, be trying to fuck I can get them whole butt naked, shout it. I ain't even trying to fuck on my ex no more Tell that bitch I done upgraded, shout it. Find out what I was worth and I put on the tax Be my foundation, no fancy, no Mac Stay out the way, go get money and stab it My mama still working, I cannot relax You know these niggas goof, I don't turn to the max I got your babe by my side where the Zach And I'm with Vaughn, Quay, Dre, and Matt Nigga, we done been broken, we ain't going back Nigga, fire the blood, shout it. For all of the time we were late on the rent at the first of the month, shout it. It was PB and J every day, now we eat no kinds for lunch, shout it. Now I walk in the store with my mama and tell her to buy what she want. I ain't hearing that shit that you talking about. Shut the fuck up. I got money now. Oh, 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 yeah. I said shut the fuck up. I got money now. Yeah, yeah. Y'all make some noise for the goddamn band behind me one time. Yeah, 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 they back again, this shit sounded real, real funky. That was the first song, it's called I Got Money Now. Yeah, you know I mean? But I still ain't paying my student loans. Fast, we're gonna have to get that shit in blood, you feel me? Like I said before, welcome to the 80 Vibe Show. I appreciate y'all having me in this motherfucker, man. Shout out to everybody in this bitch that made this shit possible for real. I know folks don't know seeing the episodes and shit, y'all do a lot of work behind the scenes. I know this is my first time in this motherfucker, but y'all be doing y'all thing, dog, for real. I be watching that motherfucker like this shit hard. So y'all be going crazy. Make some noise for y'all selves, dog. For real. Alright, shit. I ain't gonna talk y'all heads out. We're gonna get in the uh, song number two. to 80 Vibes, and you've been watching Deontay Hitchcock. I'm Sky, and I'll be your bartender, and we're going to make the side nigga. Um, it's inspired by his song, Side Nigga Anthem. He says, um, Hennessy and weed, so we have some Hennessy as your main nigga. We got rum as your side nigga. We have triple sec, 
and um, fresh lemon juice as well in it. So we're gonna get into it. All right, we're gonna start off with the Hennessy. A little bit of rum. Triple sec, which is gonna be an orange liqueur. It's gonna add um, a citrusy taste to it. Our fresh squeezes of lemon. We're gonna do two lemons. You could drop it in there. You're gonna add some ice. Then you're gonna shake it up. After you're done shaking it up, you're gonna put a fresh batch of ice in your cup. The side nigga. Somebody's crackling in my head. My head. This sound is crackling in my head. The sound is sounding very bad. The sound is sounding really bad. Hey, 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 got my afro out, you see, he got me looking like easy E, I don't do this here for free, if you wanna be like me, then you need to take a class, I got girls to give me ass, and I just might have to pass, cause she didn't have on a mask, when I seen her at the store, I don't want that COVID boo, and I don't want that cooch no more, it's the 80 vibe south, it's the 80 vibe, in your house tonight, we gon' do it live, let it get it right, Said the crown is the sound. Trying to get the sound to sound real loud, but the band is kind of high. I don't know why. Trying to get the sound right for Deontay Hitchcock to come vibe with the, with the, with the team. Ain't nothing what it seems. It's a dream. It's a dream. Jamaican man trying to check to see the scene. Leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. Yesterday I was leaving my house at like 12.15. Talk your shit, talk your shit. Turn the mics up. Seen one of the baddest women walking down the street that I have ever seen. Oh, 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 oh. Big old breast and a nice round ass. But when I got up close to her, I couldn't do nothing with her because she didn't have on her mask. She might have, she might have. I said, baby girl might have corona. 
she might have, she might have. Baby girl might have corona. She might have, she might have. I said, baby girl might have corona. She might have, she might have. Ooh, Take him to verse two, Chico. Oh, oh, oh. So I went to work and thought about her on my break. I was like, heaven's sake, why would she take the chance and not wear a mask, all this sickness going round. Then I seen her again when I left around town. And uh, she had a mask on this time, but I still was worried because the COVID-19 is still kind of blurry. I walked up on her and I asked it her name. She couldn't explain. I said, baby girl, what is you going? She said to the doctor, cause I need to know it. I said, what is it that you need to know? She said, I cough every day, I think it's home. I said, well, baby, I wish you good luck. But since you sick, then I probably not gonna fuck with you Cause I don't have no way to get myself checked Baby girl but might have, have corona She might have, she might have I said baby girl might have corona She might have, she might have Baby girl might have corona she might have, she might have. I said, baby girl might have corona. She might have, she might have. Oh, I yeah. said, she might have that COVID-19. She might have, she might have that COVID-19. She might have, she might have that COVID-19. She might have that COVID-19. She keeps sneezing and coughing around me. She keeps sneezing and coughing around me. She keeps not she keep on 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 for a real nigga, I told her pop that coochie for a real nigga. I say pop, 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 pop. Twerking on a handstand. I say pop, pop, pop. Twerking on a handstand. I told her pop, 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 pop. Twerking on a handstand. Pop, 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 pop. Twerking on a handstand. Shake that ass. Bust that, shake that ass. Shake that ass. Shake that open, 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 shake that shake that open, 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 shake that Yeah, it's on the mixtape. <laughs> Hello, my name is Carlos Miller, and this episode of the 85 South Show is sponsored in part by the good folks over there at BlueChew.com. People ask me all the time, well, how long does it take for a Blue Chew to work? And me giving you a professional recommendation? I would say you should take your Blue Chew between 30 and 45 minutes before you plan on tearing that ass up. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> This is Carlos Miller. And you know the hard part about doing these ads? If you want to tear that ass up all 2020, fellas, I'm not saying you're not already tearing that ass up. You, everybody say they don't need a blue shoe. Nobody needs a blue shoe, but you want one. Hell, I don't need one, but I want one. I would prefer to have it. It's, it just gives me extra confidence because I know I could naturally tear that ass up. But with a blue chew, that ass is getting teared up. I am, the, I will tear that ass up. Ask somebody who fucked me recently. Blue chew works. Right now we have a special deal for our listeners. 
Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment absolutely free when you use the special promo code 85SOUTH. Just pay $5 for the shipping. Again, that's Blue, B-L-U-E, Chew, dot, like a period, com. Blue Chew is the better, cheaper, faster choice, and we thank them for sponsoring our podcast. When it be we rocking, okay, uh, yeah. I said it on the first take, so I gotta say it on the second take. Don't do drugs, kids, please. You know what I mean? Wait till you get older and figure out what life about and all that shit when you be stressed out, but now you don't need them. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said, I don't wanna come if ain't no drugs there. I said, I don't wanna show up, ain't no love there. Okay, I don't want no fate, I call out the blue. Hey, cause you know your boy wouldn't like it if you were there. Okay, I don't wanna show up, ain't no drugs there. Okay, I don't wanna come if ain't no love there. Okay, I don't want no fate, I call out the blue. Hey, cause you know, hey, say yeah, you know, hey, now plug me in, now plug me in. Both in the city. You only comment whenever you want to. Let's keep it 150. Pity. Hey, uh, fucking up a good thing. Cause you somewhat caught up in your feelings. You knew what it was, though. Don't even know why you stressed like that. Are you falling in love? Whoa. I ain't trying to invest like that. Girl, you know it's a dub. Whoa. No, sometimes I can't text right back. Girl, you know I be busy and it ain't no biggest. So, girl, if you with it, I'm with it. Just hit me and then I'm gone. If ain't no drugs there. I don't want to show up, ain't no love there Okay, I don't want no fate, I call out the blue Hey, cause you know your boy wouldn't like it if he would there I said, I don't want to come if ain't no drugs there I said, I don't want to show up, ain't no love there Okay, I don't want no fate, I call out the blue Hey, cause you know your boy wouldn't like it if he was there Now plug me in, hey, now plug me in, hey Now plug me in Stretch marks, brand new whip, shit, press start, bitch, I doubt shit, grab my food at Pet Smart, purple demons only on tech stars, yeah, I like my girl fine like Gucci, with a bad ass like Boosie, that go stupid, she done finna love like loose, but we can't be exclusive, so I'm gone, ain't no drugs there, okay, I don't wanna show up, ain't no love there, I said, I don't want no faith, I call out the blue, hey, cause you know your boy wouldn't like it if he, okay, uh, okay, I don't wanna come if ain't no drugs there, I said, I don't wanna show up, ain't no love there. I said, I don't want no fate, I call out the blue. Hey, cause you know your boy wouldn't like it if you would there. Baby, plug me in, plug me in. First time I done performed in front of like real people in forever, doc. Shit crazy as hell. COVID done fucked the whole world up, man. But it's beautiful to be able to be here. It's beautiful to be able to have that platform. So thank y'all again for even inviting us to this motherfucker, doc. I started off rapping in my motherfucking car. And this shit took us down there halfway across the world for real. So this shit, music is powerful. Music is beautiful. I'm about to say, nigga, talent is beautiful, doc. All y'all motherfuckers talented as hell. Y'all beautiful, doc. Running that song.
talk. These niggas snap it. What the fuck? Welcome back, you motherfuckers. Are you back here yet? Are you fucking back or not? You better say you're fucking back if you're back. No, I'm just playing. What's up, money? <laughs> I was here like, bro, I feel so out of place. I don't know what the fuck what to do mean? here. What you mean? I didn't know what the fuck. I ain't never seen like Scarface, uh, none of the what Soprano the fuck you movies. You never seen Scarface. I ain't Scarface. never seen this what shit. What the fuck bro? is wrong with this guy, Who boy? Is He's this never kid? fucking Talk seen about Scarface. Is this one of your guys? He's not, I don't fucking know him. I you thought I knew him, but I don't know him, boy. kid. You yeah, got I, a bright future. You stay focused. Thank you. You know what I mean? How you never see this stuff? Where'd you grow up? Southside. South side or what? Riverdale. You mean yeah. you guys don't fucking it, watch wait a fucking movies? Minute. I'm wait fucking, a fucking sorry, minute. Bally. Fuck him. He said he grew up on the south side of Riverdale. Riverdale is on the fucking south side. What, what do you mean? We be watching like black movies and shit. I ain't so never so seen this guy's never enjoy. fucking seen Godfather, but he's fucking seen Shotters. This we, fucking fucking we got, asshole. We do have that motherfucker in a pack. Man, we just, the plastic still on that bitch. <laughs> we ain't busting out. Around, man. We appreciate you coming out here, man, and fucking with us, Deontay, man. Where did you start? Like, speaking of that, when did you fall in love with rap and want to do it? Shit, I've been rapping for like 15 years now, dog. Like, I was 12. My uncle put me on to the shit, actually. Like, Shout out to all the uncles. Yeah. Shout out to the uncle. Free, free, wherever you are. I know you watching this what you on? You what, he put, this what he put you up on first? Like oh, no, no, no. Early shit. He actually started me rapping. Like he ain't even just play no music around me and shit like that. Cause we ain't live in the same crib. But he used to rap, and he had got shit didn't work out. You know what I mean, like he called. Like, yeah, called as fuck. You wanna do something? He don't rap no more. And they got like two kids. He done. Yeah. Man, go on, bring him you back. You know what, nigga be having kids and shit. Man, like, might, rap about yeah, the kids. Look, he still yeah, might be man. cold, but like right. on some fire. You gotta change shit. the. the, the they gonna clean up their goddamn room. <laughs> I'm about to whoop their ass. I'm head, about to feed the kids and make them fucking go to bed so I can whoop their mama. Put that dick all on their mama. See, that's all right, cause she my wife. I've been with 15 of life, and we gonna do it till we die because that's my fault. I'm that, telling that's you, a hit. Now my, it's an audience for that. Now my cousin and my auntie mad as hell at me because they embarrassed as fuck. <laughs> hey, wait. Well, hey, long as the money But what if your auntie work. come up out the back rapping like Susie on the Gucci verse? Yeah, that was my yeah, husband. That shit hard. And he been with me forever. <laughs> I'm telling you. We that might, should be hard. Bro, you should do it. Just like keep, the, bro, keep the shit in the family. Sure, it's real. You I'm think I ain't gonna goddamn get all the way on it then have my folks do whatever the fuck? I might just do a oh, nah, look, immediate family talent show. The plan is to goddamn get as much money as possible and nigga this shit up. Like in the most ignorant way possible, dog. I'm telling you. Yeah. We used to all say that, but then the money gonna come and you be like, we can't fuck this up. <laughs> you think you're gonna you gonna do like eleven ignorant nigga shit. Like you, and once you do 11 of your childhood dreams, you'll be like, we got to protect this legacy. We about to get, we about to get everybody teeth fixed. Who, who's yeah. the smartest one in the family? But right. well, she going to college and I'm paying for it. It's going to be community college, but if she do her thing, they'll give us dollars too. Right. Then the IRS called and that changed the whole perspective. Right. Make sure everybody leave the house. Bro. Yeah. Them, don't nobody live here, nigga. Bro. Pay them first. I'm trying to get my taxes done now, nigga. I ain't find my shit for like three years. I mean, hey, stop yeah, saying shit like that on camera. camera. They're going to get that shit in blood. Yeah. They will. They don't will. tell them that. They coming. They will. They will come me. and take the goes out your mouth. I swear to God, <laughs> All they the way. will. Anything, Why are you using them? And it's, it's like, it don't even have to be like. nothing of value. If you have anything that they know you like a lot, they're taking it. They are taking that. Your favorite outfit has to go. Right. Your favorite TV show, you can't even watch that no more. It don't even come up on your TV. Fuck, they take the channel. They play so wrong. Whatever it is they know you like ain't happening no more. You right. ain't going to no strip club. Your favorite food ain't going to taste the same no more. You do not want smoke with them folks. Nah, nah, I'm going to get my shit together. Yeah, get it I together. Apologize. My we family. all got shit to get and together. The thing about it is they will, they will set up a payment plan that you might be paying 96 years. But if you show them that you're trying. They'll deal with you because all they want is their money. That's, That's the good it. part. That's all the only good want. part. All, All they want it. is they money. That's, they want it, but as long as you get it to them, you good. So we're going to try to get right with the IRS. Fuck fast for And the crazy we're gonna part get right is you might not even owe them but $914. And them niggas want your soul. Once yep. they find out that you know that you owe them, they will send you a letter and be like, look, before we even get into this gangster shit, <laughs> do you want to accept this settlement? Right. Always exactly. accept it. Always. Now, now, being as though you, you know, uh, would be Quick considered tech a, a, tech a tech new artists yeah. like how do you feel you can separate yourself from it because you know a lot of people sound the same now you yeah. know a lot of the, the sound of the music is you know similar so do you feel obligated to 
do what it takes to get on, or are you gonna stay true to your sound no matter what? I mean, not really obligated, I, like, cause I went in, I, I know that shit cliche as hell, but it's like, nigga, nobody is the same. Nigga, I can't get up here and tell jokes, nigga, I'm not funny. That's what God gave y'all, nigga. God gave me music, you know what I mean, in a different way. And like, everybody in this room got something that makes them different from the next man standing. Like, he can't do what he do, he can't do what he do, he can't do what he do, yada, yada. And that shit really cliche, but it's really the, the essence of, nigga, all of this shit, just be you, and everything gonna be different. I'm about to say, you're going to be different from the next man. Cause I don't know why people run away from that shit. Yeah. Because it's like individualism is what makes people dope. It's facts. Like motherfuckers always searching to be cool by being like the next motherfucker. But yeah. It's like, nigga. I, I ain't going to cap though. I get it. Because like, I went through phases where I was doing the same shit. Because a lot of people, you don't really, one, you don't know who you are. That That's part of growing yeah, up. Yeah. And it's like, I, I want to be that because I'm not sure about whatever the fuck I got going on in here. It's trendy. Yeah. And it's like, two, you might not, once you figure out who you are, you might not like it. So then you still want to be this next person. Cause it's like, yeah. nah, I don't like whatever the fuck that I've, I've realized in myself. Right. So, I don't know. It is what it is. And man, that, you know the whole thing you said about like staying true to yourself, mm -hmm. especially in the entertainment industry, that shit could be a double-edged sword. Because sometimes the same shit that got you there be the take same, you away from the same yeah. shit that got you, you know, right that's, it's, 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 that's the part of figuring out the game, you know yeah. what I mean? And being as though you, you know, they got that opportunity to display your talent on a national platform, like, did you feel obligated to just throw something out just because the eyes are on you now or are you more reserved and wanting it to be the right way every time? I don't, I don't know about necessarily the right way. I know, like, my manager somewhere in here, he running my Instagram and Twitter right now because like I had to step away from it because I felt myself slipping into a hole where it was like, I might say this because I know this is going to do numbers. I might say this because I know people going to respond to this the right way. And it's like, bro, that's not what life's about. Like, we all got different opinions. We all got different emotions and shit. And like, everybody not always going to accept that shit or think it's right. Exactly. And when you, yeah, so social media be fucking niggas up. Man, like, speak on it. Trill Spirit really be fucking niggas up, dog. And I know it was used as a tool to like bring niggas together, but I feel like niggas further apart than ever because nigga, we doing shit for the wrong reasons. Half the time, nigga, oh, I'm saying shit on that motherfucker. It's like, dog, this not even me at this point. I'm doing this shit because I think it's going to get 5,000 likes or whatever the fuck the case is. And I really had to step back and try to find out what I appreciate and what I like without it being an extension of another person. What you value. Yeah. <laughs> Now, who are some of your, your influences musically? You know what I mean? Because you got a dope, you, you performed some dope songs for us. Appreciate it. And, you know what I mean, you, you, you know, you got a message in it. You told the kids don't do drugs and, you know, all that. So, who I'm are some just, of the people? I was just about to do something. Too. I mean, you ain't a kid. <laughs> I'm like, saying, yeah, so you grow no, up. I ain't want to be, um, Go know. against the message. Exactly. I, mean, <laughs> I was going to let it simmer. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. But what, who influenced you? Who are some of the people that influenced you musically? Oh, it was a lot for real. Like, T.I., when I was like young, I think about 11, 10 or 11 or something like that, that's when T.I. was first popping. So I feel like T.I. had a lot of albums that kind of like raised me in a sense. My favorite rapper ever is Wayne. That nigga the GOAT. I don't think we ever seen a hip hop run ever better than Wayne from like 05 to 09. That nigga would dominate shit. And Wayne. You know what is crazy is, is what even makes Wayne more of having a run because the run Drake is on now that shit probably nuts will too. surpass yeah. Wayne's run, but yeah, shit is Wayne nuts. put him on. So you got to attach Wayne to that run as yeah. well. You know what I mean? But yeah, shit. Uh, Wayne for sure. T.I. for sure. Outkast. I used to be a dancing ass nigga, so we used to be listening to like Kilo Ali and shit. At what point in your life did you decide that? I ain't no dancing ass nigga. I know, I'm still a dancing ass nigga. No, I was just about no, to say, about sometimes say, oh, you just got to hit that bitch. Yeah, I ain't no dancing ass nigga, but like for the right, right reason, Look, you would think that I'm a dancing head nigga. It's up. Like if I hit that, if I hit that mode, whatever the fuck I do, I'm doing the shit out of that. I'm trying to battle with the conviction of a dancing head nigga. I'm trying to battle. Hey, nah, nah, I don't want no smoke. <laughs> Cause you already let me know that you used to be a dancing head nigga, so you remember all your moves. <laughs> I just let you know that I, with, if I feel a move, that's the one. Do you, you have like, an arsenal of moves that you be, used to use to classify yourself as a dancing man nigga? Do you ever feel like you could put that into your arsenal now, like with the music you make and bring that back and, and be a dancing ass nigga that rhyme to? <laughs> Niggas trying to figure it out low key, cause that shit, I ain't gonna keep it down, nigga. I thought that shit was corny. 
Yeah. Yeah. See, this is what we like, getting at, though. Like, nigga, in the entertainment industry, nigga, whatever the fuck you can do, you better bring that shit with and you. And that's fact. That's what everybody keep. Man. Like, I don't know where the fuck that nigga at. He's somewhere in here, but he be telling me the same shit. But in my head, it's like, that we ain't never seen no dancing ass rapper. You crazy as hell. Besides, besides, like, all right, MC Hammer. That don't count. Bruh. That does count. count. You done missed all these like dancing ass niggas that then came, right? MC Hammer. Who Soulja you Boy. think the most recent dancing ass nigga? Rapping? Yeah. Duke Deuce. Now he good. Yeah, that nigga five. But offset. He don't want no smoke. That either. nigga offset be killing see, shit. Offset don't be dancing no more. You how I know he be might, dancing. You there. might see a nigga dancing on Instagram or something like that, but he ain't dancing in no video on Bro, that stage. But see that that's, what I'm, that's what we saying. Of him being a dancing man, nigga, you, be, you gotta watch everything. But that, that's a whole link. lane right. that's open. Exactly. You can make that, that's that's what, you know what we're mean, not pushing man. you to be no dancing man. Yeah, we, I mean, your I'm shit already, already dope. But you we got to talk shit. You already that, so you might as well utilize that to further what it is you got going. Because you know it's like being ashamed of what somebody else gonna say is the wrong perspective to have in this. Because yeah. as long as you comfortable with it and comfortable in doing whatever it is you do, then, then it's gonna matter. work. And even if you really like it, who gives a fuck if anybody else do? Nigga, that nigga, shit I'm a comedian. Sense. If I had any dancing ass nigga skills, my intro would be about eight minutes long. <laughs> Just me getting to the microphone. Nigga, the moonwalk, pot lock, electric slide. I'm going eight. all the way across the stage. The, off the rip. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. Mm, nigga, like, come on with this dancing and shit. What the women saying? Air color, suck my titty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go, let me ask you this question. All right, All right bet. It, it, it don't matter, but still, it if does. Wayne was a ticking ass nigga, would y'all be listening to him? Man, I, that nigga yeah. probably would have been, and now he would have been a certified goat. Could you see how that nigga would say them cold ass rap, and then hit a smooth ass move? Like, give you an example. Chris Brown got all these songs and so all these millions. Right? Yo. You know why that nigga gonna forever be cemented? Because he did a backflip and landed on his on motherfucking beat. feet on to beat. March Madness. That's facts. That's but, out but there. He ain't singing that nigga. He sing like niggas. He ain't singing shit. shit. Niggas, like, that's that's he ain't that's, sing that's, shit that's, in that. That was three seconds and it cemented it's his fact. legacy. But that's the thing. Music, we we the only people that, that likes to categorize our music to where if you do one thing, I can't accept you doing something else. Yo. You know what I mean? Like you just said, Chris Brown is a singing ass mm-hmm. nigga. He's an artist. Artistry is artistry. So right. if you got the ability to be able to make art, make art in your own way, then, you know what I mean? I say do it. Out. There was a point in black music <clears throat> Where if you wasn't a dancing ass nigga, did nobody yeah, give a nobody fuck if you can sing? You. Right. You, you're not going to Motown just being a singing this ass nigga. Yeah. You're going to be over there writing some songs, <laughs> but ain't no, they not about to put you on and you just going to stand there and sing. Yeah, you you had to look at James Brown, you dancing I mean? his ass nigga ever. You got to have a step. So it, it's at this point, like speaking of, of what you're going to put out moving forward, yeah. like the projects that you're working on now, mm-hmm. like do you feel like because people have got their eyes on you now. Is that what you want them to know you for from now on? Or do you have shit that you put out before that you want them to get accustomed to, to get to know you before nah, they get the new shit? I definitely want them to like go back and listen to the old shit because we don't put out so much, so much music. It was like the BET shit when it came, it was like, okay, I'm glad that it came at this point in a nigga life because nigga, it's so much shit for niggas to go back and find. It's so mm. many, we got EPs, we got albums, all that some, shit. And it's, some smooth shit. What? Bro, you can go back and listen that to music. Then niggas can like, be dang. dancing as niggas too, right? What is music without dancing? Right. This is facts. I about to say that that's really when I fell in love with music when I start dancing. See? So I feel that. Right. So you that. that that passion, man, is waiting on you to retap into it, yeah. man. Don't lose that energy. You can yeah. utilize that shit. For every song I like, I got a dancing ass dance I do to it. Make up one. Signature. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna it's on. I'm now, back in dancing ass nigga mode. Thanks for the battle pro me. <laughs> now, do you write your rhymes or do you just go in the studio and punch in like most niggas do now? I write more. Okay. Yeah, but so like I done had moments where a nigga might gotta be off of the drink or some shit. And, and that shit just come. Yeah. You don't gotta write it. But for the most part, like I like conceptualizing the stories and shit. Cause like it don't even necessarily have to be some shit that I'm going through right now. Mm. You need to put it in the song. Like it could be some shit I went through like five years ago or something like that. But I still gotta go in, recall that story get it right and put it down on paper. Okay. If you made a new fan today and you suggested five of your, those older tracks that mm-hmm. you were talking about, your previous work, 
That's what, give them five songs of yours that you would want a new fan to hear. That's everything I'm gonna put out, including the last album out of shit. If they was like, bro, just give me five right. right quick. Like so, a new fan, they fucking with you. They right. wanna hear five more. Which, which, which camera? If you pick your camera. Give one. all the cameras Same one. Way. So, first one, it's called No Secret. Go listen to that motherfucker ASAP. Okay. My favorite song I ever made. Okay. Second one, Talking to God 2. Mm. Not one, two. Two yeah, That first time God wasn't that, listening. He came right. back the second time. Because two hitting so hard, you're going to find one. Uh. Two. Third one, Thinking About You. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good little set song, you know what I mean? Hit this camera right here. It's one on your shoulder. Boom. Fourth one, Too Special. Fifth one, that's tough. Mm. That's when I say, uh, Grown Up Mother Got, mm. the last song from the day. Okay, yeah. that's what it is. That's what it is. Now, yeah. what's, what you working on? You know what I mean? What you got coming? That's always the question that people ask, but, you know, I, I, I like to, to ask the question a little different because, you know, you got, I'm sure your mind is full of all types of ideas, yeah. so how do you narrow it down to what's coming next? Crazy enough, like, somebody just asked me this question the other day about, like, uh, concept albums, uh, do you go in with like a concept in mind or some shit like that? But it's like, nah, I don't want to limit necessarily the creativity, you know what right. I mean? Because if we make a concept and we just try to stick to that, if something else comes to my mind that's outside of that concept, I'm gonna be like, nah, I don't want to fuck with it because it don't fit this mode or fit that right. or whatever. <clears throat> but like, niggas be making ideas every day. Me and my partners, we got a group chat started where nigga, we put a verse or a song in that bitch literally every day for a year straight. That's dope. We on like, I want to say this is month three or four. You know what I mean? So we still going, so the ideas are there. But at the same time, I don't want to rush no shit because right. everything that I gave y'all in the first album was pretty much my whole life. It's like everything I've lived through up to this point. And now I think that's why a lot of artists go through like that sophomore slump. It's like, fuck, nigga. I, I've given you the album and now we're going on tour and now we're doing all these things, but I haven't got the chance to live again. But I still got to goddamn turn in this album again or y'all forget about me but I haven't got a chance to refill the well at all. Mm. So now I think we're refilling the well, just trying to figure it out. Cause like, man, my boy, is that B? I can't see. It's you? That's my producer right there too, right now. I don't know if any of the cameras, but greatest producer alive. We ain't produced, we ain't, we ain't made shit, recorded wise, I think in like a couple months. Niggas been writing and niggas been making beats, but we ain't recorded at all. Cause niggas just trying to go back through the motions and figure this shit out. You know what's funny hearing him say this shit as a rapper like, God damn, I done gave y'all my whole life on the first album. I'm what so glad, me, me as a comedian, I don't give a fuck how much of this shit you believe. I ain't gonna tell you the real <laughs> shit. And then you do one goddamn show. I got 300 shows after. Well, fuck it, I done told y'all who I am. All right. Let me go live a little life. <laughs> Get back with you niggas. It ain't album time yet, I ain't did shit. <laughs> So now, this is my advice to all the musicians and rappers and shit as a comedian slash entertainer in another field. Stop giving these niggas so much of yourself on the first half. Make lie. up some shit. Just make lie. up a da- make up a dancing ass song. You talented? Right. Yeah, niggas lie on their records anyway. All Man, this shit is lies and entertainment, that. exaggerated. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe these musicians keeping it too real. Yeah, I doubt Spread it. Spread your realness out. You got another album coming? <laughs> now, I just got a note <laughs> from the research the, from the research out. department that you worked on the Dreamville album. Mm-hmm. How was that? You know it was dope. You know it was dope. Look at the dope shit he do by himself. <laughs> you put him around some other dope motherfuckers, it ain't gonna be nothing but like dope, dope. Bro, no, no cap. It was just like that. For real, for real. Like, imagine you got down, you got, so this is the dream team. Nigga, it's Jordan got down, Isaiah Thomas, granted he ain't make the shit. Uh, Bird, Magic, all these niggas like the in the dream same. Team. You said he did make it in your say that shit. Big face, Isaiah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that nigga. You and the mean? only reason he ain't make it, we find it now all the years Jordan. later. Some hating yeah, ass yeah. niggas. I mean, look, when you the goat, the niggas don't need to be questioning. It don't matter shit. if you the goat. Real, if you do some whole ass shit, whether you the goat or not, I mean, you not, can not, still not, be the goat shit is and then shit. do some whole ass shit. But, but it you, does matter because yeah. he ain't make the team. You the goat in basketball. Trishville. So, but in life, you did some whole ass shit. They say that nigga got jaundice. And who who the fuck? Jaundice? That ain't got shit to do with us. Say less. Fuck I don't know. Um, I don't know. That's just some drinking. I, I forgot what the fuck I was finna say. We just, we just vibe. Got you. We, back. My bad. Um, we got off on a tangent. No, no, no. Shit was crazy. Like, you go in one room and it's like, it's Cole, Ross, and got down T.I. in one room. Then you go in the next, it's Swiss Beats, Wale, Jid in the next room. Then you go in, it's Ari Lennox, Vince Staples. Like, 
But it, it, it was so many talented people that y'all ever been to uh, Tree Sounds? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Nigga, that shit big as fuck. Yeah. They got like 15 rooms <clears> in that motherfucker. It was like 300 people in that shit yeah, every I day. I slid through them. Bruh. I slid through them. So nigga, you know. That shit was nuts. I can't even tell if you did. See, I'm, I did, man. I did, BJ man. was down there. Vince was down there. Nigga, that shit was um, fire. It, it was motherfuckers all over the place coming through there. And it's like, Bruh. it was so many people coming through there. It ain't everybody wasn't even on the joint, though. Niggas so just it, in that bitch. It was like a camp. They did the shit, locked yeah. it down for. It was pre COVID, then they still yeah. had the lockdown shit over there. Nah, the shit was fire. Like, in and out. I ain't even know I made the motherfucker. We went on a uh, tour with Jed, and we were in Atlanta for the last show. And that nigga E, shout out to E, co-manager and shit, he came through the show and he was telling us, he was like, yeah, we picking the last three songs for the album. We trying to get them, we think whoop the whoop, this song gonna make it. And I was on that bitch. Oh, cause I ain't get no paperwork, I ain't get no email, no nothing. I was just sitting there like, fuck nigga, we ain't make it. I did like 18 songs in that bitch. I still ain't heard them shit since we left. But niggas made it and that shit changed niggas lives. For real, for real. Like, That's what's up. Salute yeah, the cold yeah, and the whole crazy, Dreamville man. and this all that, man. Yeah, yeah. That so, man, where, where can they find you? You know what I mean? Get your social media and all that good stuff. I mean, even though your manager running it, they still need Facts, to know yeah, where it's at. It ain't going to be me, so if you say some out of pocket shit, it's that nigga. Oh, he just on. <laughs> so, you mean to tell me he just on there saying out of pocket ass shit? I hope not, but I ain't been back on that man, shit since I stopped. Stay off that shit then, because <laughs> it's toxic, man. Like, I know. mean, it's good and bad. It really just depends on how you look at it, man. And some people look at the shit, you know, for what they want to see. Ah, because that's facts. Because, like, mm. without, without the social media, nigga, I wouldn't be talking to y'all niggas right now. Damn, like, that's fucked up. No, I, that, no I'm saying, I'm not, not saying, on y'all. I think we could have, <laughs> bro, we could have at least ran, like, what we would have crossed paths at the weed man house. And I'm like, nigga, you would be like, I don't fuck with you, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> not like that. I mean, in the sense, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 rapping in the car shit wouldn't have snowballed into anything else. Right. Nigga probably wouldn't been on the Dreamville shit. Nigga probably wouldn't be signed. That's that why shit. the fuck you got to take that shit back from your manager. <laughs> now you got to keep rapping in the car, but it's a nicer car. It's facts. You got to go from the Taurus to the yeah, Lexus to, to the Lexus to the. Come on, man. Oh you God. think niggas don't want to see back. you rapping in a car? Hey, you, don't you got a nicer car? Yeah, but I said You ain't even wrapped in that bitch yet. I ain't wrapped it out. You don't like that car that much. I ain't even pop the cherry on that motherfucker. I mean, that's the thing. You can rap. The rap could be about the fact that you in a new car. Bro, Ludacris yeah. still got the car that he was writing raps in when he started writing raps. Same motherfucking car. Huh. Accurate. Huh. It's a hip-hop fan. It's fine. I bet say that shit got emotional value, dog. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's facts. Yeah, yeah. But dog, anybody you looking forward to working with? Mmm. Dre. Out the top. Dr. Dre? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Andre. Andre 3000. No disrespect to Dr. Dre. Yeah, right. He 5'2, but Andre 3000 definitely out the top. I ran into that nigga randomly on like a uh, fuck. Everybody only that. runs into that nigga. Right, let me ask you, like, nobody let me ask you ever this purposely. Fuck. Say for instance, he hits you and he wanted you to do a track. Yeah. You get to the yo. He just in the booth with a flute. Oh, what's up? He playing flute on my album, nigga. Fuck it. He ain't got to drop no verse nothing if you don't no, want he to. He say he don't want no rap band. Just... I don't give a damn. Cool. We, Andre 3000 gonna be on them credits. <laughs> 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 That's what's up right there. Man, and we fucking that nigga like, so hard. Big salute to 3000. Of course, man. He just don't understand. Whatever that nigga doing, we fucking with it. If that nigga I'll wanna talk. drop a flute album with 44 tracks I'm buying five of him copies. just practicing the flute, guess who fucking with it? Oh, me. Man, I'm gonna tell all my niggas. Boy, you heard that flute shit? Oh, yeah. Number 39? Yep. That nigga went in on number 30. I hear that. Tweet, 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 nigga. Hell yeah. <laughs> And you heard 16 with Big Boy on it. Yeah, twat the tweet, the tweet, tweet. That was 16. <laughs> he just don't get it. So if anybody can get this shit to him, let him know we fucking whatever that nigga. Whatever nigga. you do. Wait till he start playing the kazoo. Oh my god. The kazoo. Whatever he got going on. Snap. I'm a fan for life. Facts. It's big facts. facts. But see, that, that be the shit about artistry, dog. Cause like, he he'll feel like folks ain't fucking with this shit. He said it in the interview. He was like, yeah, I'm too old to rap now. It was like, bro, what the Man, fuck? Man, I want to hear that nigga rapping when Dude, I'm in the nursing 75, home. 75, If I'm 75, I'm still going to need some shit to listen to. Put me in the nursing home. <laughs> I'm sick of these kids. Here you going to Every put time you... Put me in the nursing home. Put me in the nursing My home. My diaper is filled. Yeah, yeah. And put me in the nursing home. 
Yeah, that would be cold right there. We going to keep that one for us, nigga. We coming with that one. Bro, let's record an album now, and we'll listen to it when we in the nursing home. That will be cold to the motherfucker right there. Just throw that bitch in the boat. Just throw that bitch in the boat, but we going to have to rap like we old. Okay. That's the concept. We got it. It's called Sleepyville. All right, say. <laughs> nah, we need to call that motherfucker, huh? What'd you say? Well, <laughs> and you know the cold part about it? Our memory gonna be fucked up, so every time we hear it, it's gonna, it's gonna be, be brand new. new. Good dimension. That's what it is. <laughs> Good dimension. But yeah, man, you uh, gotta give them your, your, your profile, man, and your social media and where they can find you at, and uh, music yeah, and all that. Um, it's Deontay Hitchcock. That's everywhere. Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. Y'all yes, shit, please run that motherfucker up, because we got bills. You know what I mean? We trying to keep the lights bill. on and shit. And it's Deontay VH anywhere else. That's D E A N T E V H everywhere. Hell yeah. Y'all make some noise for Deontay Hitchcock in the building. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. It's low, man. You always welcome to come fuck with us on right now. Whatever real, we got going on and I we support whatever you got going on too, Thank man. Yes, we sir. fans of that shit. And Thank big salute you, to you and everything you got moving forward. Keep being yourself, man. You lit that bitch up. Thank you. Appreciate that shit. Yeah. Mark it. Okay, so I, I can't sing at all. So we kept my boy in the track. Uh, Y'all make some noise for Ro James. One time. It's my brother, man. Appreciate you for doing this song. Eh? If I start feeling this motherfucker, I'ma try to sing some of your ad libs though. Hey, hey. Yeah. Shit for the grown and sexy. You know what I mean? It's like uh, the quiet storm music. We playing that shit at like one o'clock in the morning on the radio. Hey, text me whenever you get off of work so that I can make sure that you get off again. You know that pussy, 10 out of 10, and you know how I get when I get out that hen. I know you tired, baby, sit on my chin for a set, take a breath, take a load off a minute. Soon as you take off them clothes, get the bending. Fuck you to sleep, then I doze off a bending. Love when you pop and shit, you get on top and get hard as a rock. No, I can't go the opposite. She suck me up with no hand, play that walking shit. Optimistic and dick in your esophagus. Call me clumsy because I be dropping dick on her. I put her to sleep at time. We can six nine, baby. I I ain't gon' tell on you when you a knee, girl, just hit up my line. Text me when you get on. Text me when you get on. I've been thinking about you. I say, if you at the crib, listening to this shit, get one of your loved ones in that motherfucker. When y'all bumping and grinding, get some of these 85 candles, man. On go. Yeah, yeah. Good product placement. Yeah. I've been thinking about I've been thinking about you, baby. Hey, yeah, okay. I said, I said, four zero four seven three seven one zero two five. You can hit my phone when you need your back blown and a new spine. A lot of know I rock the boat up in that water. I should start a crew line. We done been at home all day, but I done made it come a few times. Bed the couch are working out, she too tired. Fuck it though, we switching gears. Shout the magic with the mouth, she take it out and make the thing disappear. I killed the pussy, got away with murder like Viola, but no strings attached. Resuscitation separating both them legs from mouth to mouth to bring it back. Ayy. Hey. The 85 show, you know what I'm saying? We don't condone unprotected sex. Strap up, you know what I'm saying? Wear your rubber. Get your shit on, I know that shit suck. But we don't need no more niggas running around this motherfucker for real. No pregnancy, no STDs. Strap up, protect your willy. Yeah. I've been thinking about you. Mm. And you thinking about me. And I'm verses after this, so I ain't got shit else to say. Let's see. Make some noise one more time for the band. And this motherfucker going crazy. Going crazy, real deaf poetry jam vibes. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Hey.
one time for a favor. That's it. So you know I gotta stay on my toes, nigga ain't shit sweet, sugar honey iced tea, okay Told niggas one, two, three, way back, that the flow clean like Ajax is a bit payback If suicide's no take back, you know homie don't play that shit Whole lot of manifesting going on, with a fortune like a young past AJ Hard to find like a needle in a haystack, baby I need my space, that's why I'm rolling up Getting high for the lows, 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 you move too fast, you need to slow it up Ease your mind, take it slow, slow, slow. I know, I know I done been through some things, but I'm still right here. Through the hurt, through the pain, overcame my fears. I might be growing up. Maybe not, I don't know. Hey, okay, look, I did everything in 2019, so in 2020 I can see it clearly. I'm tired of making the same New Year's resolutions on the fucking yearly. I'm on the road to riches in my own lane, let my soul steal me. Even in the belly of the beast, but still God's son, I mean that's silly. Hope I never let nines down, glad that the nigga that I need to hear me. Why? He already got a million, but my nigga still stuck at the bottom, feeling like there ain't no one who really got him living life like there ain't no fucking tomorrow, really, cause there might not be no damn tomorrow, cause we out here living on timeless bar. I talk to God, like God, God would like so, I would like shit. My bad for cuss, she was like, nigga, please told y'all to come out your ears, what's on your mind? I already know, wouldn't be much for God unless I did, and I would like true, what would you recommend I do? Cause I'm stressing up as it is. God was like, look, my nigga, you have to make it this far, but look, bro, you did flow like the wind. We don't judge a fish on if it fly, not tell birds to swim. Be what you is. When it hurts, really, we just all here to serve a purpose. I set the stage, play, roll the curtains, better make it work. Pat me the blunt, I see you rolling up. Yeah, for the lows, slows, slows. You move too fast, you need to slow it up. Uh, ease your mind, take it slow, slow, slow. I know, I know, I done been through some things, but I'm still right here. Through the hurt, through the pain, overcame my fears. I must be growing up. Maybe not, I don't know. Hey, so this next part of this song is dedicated to some very special people in my life. Uh, if you love your mama, let me hear you make some noise. Shout out to all the mamas out here. Shout out to all the women out here, dog. This next part of this song is for all the amazing women in my life. Yeah, you know I mean, that have made me shit. The nigga got down the child see in front of y'all today. I hope I'm making them proud for real, for real. Oh shit, I need that damn stand. Hold on. I forgot all about this motherfucker. I'm mad at hell, y'all think I'm really this short. Shit. Hey. Let that motherfucker loop around one more time. I know I missed my cue, but it's all good. I'm keep this shit funky. Okay, look, somebody asked me why I thank God as a woman, and I said, your mama cooking must not be as good as mine. Your little sister must not warm your spirit when you see a cracker smile, and you never seen one hold a child in her arms after she just birthed. Look, hands down, man, walking this earth service, y'all the closest thing I done seen to perfect. The girl I'm with now is a nurse and working two jobs on the side, still trying to find purpose, giving love to those who need it and not just those who deserve it. That's the type of shit that make me love her more. Couldn't cut her loose if I had scissors, this love galore. She bring me peace and I'll she ain't street in the least, but if it's beef, I know that shit hold the heat for me like the oven door. Really, I'm becoming more and more convinced that I love y'all, but y'all may love me more. See, I don't think that I can compete with my mother's joy, seeing the baby boy live out his dreams, cause years ago I wasn't even sure what I was living for. Just know I love you more than life itself. And my heart cold, but I know that ice can melt. 
I'm your son, but you shine like one. Man, all them tears you cried for me to get through them, you must be Michael Phelps. As the cards in this life get dealt, I know I always got me some queens. All my grandmas, partners, cousins, and aunties always on time like a shanty. Whether I need me some advice, I just want to talk, but it hurt me to this day. I ain't go see Rihanna up in that hospital bed. Convinced myself I had a lot on my head. And I ain't a lie, because at the time, and I did. Let's just learn putting things I should do today off for tomorrow instead. You my mama need Granny Brenda and Lena, Mama J, Auntie Tyra J, Tanae, Auntie Keita, Claudine and Claudette, Stephen Trezette, Icy and Lisa, Miss Tina, Caroline, Blair, Amethyst, Kymina, made sure I started with love like Serena. And if love is God and God is love, then these a couple places I seen it. Started with love like Serena. If love is God and God is love. Amen. Hey woman. Yeah, I about to say that dramatic power went from that. Y'all make some noise for y'all motherfucking selves. That's the shit I be doing when I don't know what the fuck to say. But I appreciate y'all. <laughs> and that's it, man. Much love to y'all. Appreciate y'all for having me. This is another episode of 80 Vibe. Keeping the shit live. Yeah. Do it.